Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Sir of the Java Tears Podcast, and I haven't been on here in a while. The team and I have been working on a couple of projects for the podcast, so stay tuned for a couple of big events. By the way, we will be sponsoring Battle Club Pro's Unfinished Business event at the end of this month. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to talk about a couple of big topics that's been going around in the wrestling world, and I just want to touch on it a little bit. First things first, let's talk about the AEW Double or Nothing pay-per-view. Thank you, everybody who came out to that event. It was a great time we had. And I want to give my personal rating for that event. Honestly speaking, I want to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Some people may give it a 9, some people may give it an 8, but I personally believe it was a 7.5 out of 10. Solid pay-per-view, great points, and a couple like uh, points in that pay-per-view. But I still appreciate what the... What the Bucks, Cody and Omega and Mr. Khan are doing for the wrestling community. My favorite match of the night personally, maybe I'm a WWE mark, but my favorite match of that night was Dustin Rhodes versus Cody Rhodes. Or Dustin versus Cody. They probably can't use their last name right now. But anyways, I truly enjoyed that match the most. It was the most complete match wrestling wise. And it was the most complete match storyline wise. I was truly invested into, the, into that match. Now, fuck Jim Cornette for that disgusting comedy said about my boy Sonny Kiss. And once again, fuck Jim Cornette. We move on. Other things that people have been talking about lately is John Moxley. John Moxley recently did an interview with Chris Jericho on his podcast called Talking to Jericho. And Moxley was very open about things that happened to him in WWE. Honestly, I thought he didn't come off any way bad at all. He was very gracious, very humble. and never came off that he was bigger than wrestling. As somebody that we all know did on, on when he dropped the podcast. CM Punk, anybody? So, in general, he was honest about things that happened. And those things that happened within the WWE, we all kind of knew or kind of figured what that was going on. But he solidified those thoughts that we all had. And I give him props for being open and also being gracious for what WWE did for him. Because he did mention he has a bigger name now and him going over to AEW will help AEW grow. Regardless... I'm so happy for Mr. John Moxley. If you guys haven't seen our last post, he won the U.S. title over there in New Japan Wrestling. And, and I watched the match. Phenomenal job. Keep it up, Mr. Moxley. Next thing's been on my mind, ladies, about the women's division in WWE. SP3 of the True Heels podcast mentioned this a while ago. He said that Ron is the best thing to ever happen to the women's division in WWE. And he was absolutely right. And I will second that thought as well. Ever since Ronda has left, the women's division has taken a massive nosedive. And the pilot that's driving is not pulling it up to get that thing to start flying again. The women's division has become a second thought in WWE. And it's kind of disgusting because there's a lot of great talent on there. But then again, they have no superstars. Oh, you're talking about Becky Lynch, aren't you? You're going to mention Becky Lynch. You're going to mention Charlotte. Both stars in their own right, but they're not superstars. They're not on the level that Ronda was. Maybe they'll find that superstar. Or maybe Becky Lynch and Charlotte will elevate to that superstar status. But right now, they're just stars. Continue on. Let's talk about that 24-7 bell. It's absolutely ugly. But it's a great to see Ron Killings, a.k.a. R-Truth, do a phenomenal job of making the best out of bullshit. And I love this dude so that to death for what he's doing right now. Especially on his social media. He's really taken that and ran with it. There's probably a couple of other things I forgot to talk about. But we'll talk about that more tonight on the podcast episode. So tune in live at 8.30. By the way, July 4th, we have our first live podcast and party. Hosted by Faye Jackson. Also, is a birthday celebration for Mr. Black. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. And leave a comment below because I'd love to know your opinion.